at the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. Can you see it? Oh. You could say the telescopes are matchmakers. I see the moon. Linking curious humans with that bright white orb 238,000 miles away. Do you ever get sick of the view up here? Never. It's so beautiful. You see the entire Los Angeles basin and, of course, the beautiful moon. Quick look. Make Dr. Sure Laura Danley is curator here at Griffith, home to the massive Zeiss telescope. You can see surfaces of other worlds, and that's incredible. This week, the observatory is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. What was your feeling in that moment? Uh, ecstasy. I don't think there's any other way to describe it. I was crying, and I was only 11. Since then, we've learned a lot about the moon. One of the most important things, she says, is that it's really old. Before Apollo, we didn't know whether it was a recent thing or an ancient thing. And in fact, it was formed in a huge impact right after the Earth was formed. But there's still so much more to learn. Like, are there resources to help us stay alive there? A dream that hasn't vanished. In 50 years, my grandkids are going to be living there. <laughs> Even after all this time, the moon still has a way of wowing us. Long-distance relationship that endures. Joe Fryer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.